Morgan says, Ben, how did you know you wanted to marry your wife and how long did it take for you to propose? I knew I wanted to marry her for a couple of reasons. Um, so I think that Here's the typical pathway for men deciding they want to get married. First, uh, there has to be physical attraction. Okay, this is just the reality. When men are, are first attracted to a woman, it's because there's a physical attraction to the woman. So my wife happens to be smoking hot. So this definitely was the, was the initial draw. But uh, the, in the first date, I mean, I, I dated a lot of women one time and decided I didn't want to date anymore because they were not either intellectually stimulating or have the same values. She not only, I, I, there was more than just a spark there is what I'm saying. It's easy to find, I think, a certain level of chemistry, uh, particularly sexual chemistry with people. I don't think that's the hardest thing in the world to find. What is hard to find is somebody who shares your values. And my wife and I on our first date for three hours discussed free will and determinism and how many kids we each wanted to have. I mean, we, we were dating for marriage. Uh, and so you, you have to, you, I'm not sitting, saying sit there with a the checklist, but you do have to have a group of things in your head that you want out of a spouse. And I don't mean like they're going to, uh, you know, shine your shoes or make dinner for you. I mean, things like what kind of life do they want to build and what kind of values do they hold dear? Because that's the stuff you're going to be able to build a future on. It, Jonathan Haidt has a chapter in the happiness hypothesis about love. And one of the things he points out is that when you first meet your, your potential mate, then the level of passion, passionate love is, I think he calls it passionate love and companionate love. Compa passionate love is like here on the scale and companionate love, meaning how well you know the person, how much you love them for who they are as a companion is down here. And this falls off within about six months. Passionate love falls off within six months or a year, a couple of years at the most. It doesn't mean that it doesn't exist anymore, but it just is different, okay? I can tell you, as somebody who's been married for 10 years, the feeling that you have for your spouse, particularly the kind of, the kind of um, fiery need that you have for your spouse at the very beginning uh, is, not the same fire, is not the same burning need that you have for your spouse throughout your life. Uh, and the companionate love tends to rise. So passionate love declines, companionate love rises. That's the way it should happen because companionate love is more important when you're building a life and building a family. Who you want to have sex with is a, is a pretty arbitrary decision to a certain extent. 